Hey, hi all. In this video, uh, we will be covering different types of exceptions in Salesforce. So, basically, what is an exception? First, we will see what is an exception. So, exception is nothing but an error that disrupts the normal flow of execution. If your code or any automation thing in any system, not only in Salesforce, if it disrupts the normal uh, flow of an execution then there will be an exception so what are the different types of exception we have in salesforce so we have dml exception as its name suggests any problem with the dml statement will cause dml exception for an example while inserting a record if any required field is missing then DM, dml exception is thrown if we are uh, if we are entering uh, manually any data and if any field is required on a page layout or due to any validation thing then that particular validation or that particular field will be required on page layout and we can manually enter that and we can save that but if in case we are updating or if we are creating records uh, using code or any automation thing at that time if that field is missing then this exception will occur second we have a list exception so any problem with the list will cause list exception for example uh, while accessing list index which is not present in that particular list there will be an exception that is list exception so uh, as we are aware like we have different type of collections in salesforce one of them is list and we try to get uh, all the data in, in in a list so that we can access that data so in some of the cases uh, it might happen like we are looking for data uh, but there is no data present in the database and at that time if we are assigning that particular records which are retrieved at that time uh, this list exception will occur then we have null pointer exception uh, any problem with dereferencing null such as in the following code that is we are um, we are trying to lowercase the string that is s but we haven't assigned anything to s so s is null in this case and if we are trying to lowercase a null thing it will throw this error that is null pointer exception then we have query exception any problem with soql queries it will cause query exception for example while assigning a query that returns no records or more than one record to a singleton a subject variable while we are querying a data and if there is if there are no records returned might be due to uh, the where clause we have not properly uh, used that particular value or uh, we are trying to get a well uh, we are trying to get a record which is not present in the org as of now so in that case uh, this exception will occur because we will query that data and then we will do some assignments or some updation on that particular data so at that time uh, this uh, this exception will occur then we have math exception as its name suggests if there is any problem with a mathematical operation then this ex exception will occur for example dividing a number by zero as we all know it will throw an exception if it is not handled properly then we have a string of exception an illegal string is passed to a field for an example we have we are having a lookup field on account and uh, from develop, developer console we are trying to update an account uh, update an account which which is having a, a lookup field on contact so in that particular contact field we have to put 18 digit record id but in that case if we put any other like uh, any name or something like that so that will not work because uh, when we enter that particular 18 digit record id it look up or it looks for that particular record and it will populate the name of that particular uh, contact but if we enter it means like a name or um, any string other than that 
so it will cause string exception now we will look at the examples of look. this uh, moving to the examples of exceptions which we just saw in the presentation so first is uh, exception uh, the class name is the exception examples and then we have different types of method in which we have like given the dml exception list exception and then the null pointer exception the query exception and the math exception and then string exception so uh, we will go to uh, anonymous window then if we want to run all the methods of a particular class so we have to just specify the class name dot the method name if that method name is having this static word in that otherwise we have to create instance of that particular class and then uh, that particular uh, instance name dot the method name we have to provide so first we will execute dml exception so it is execute highlighted if i will execute it will execute all the methods at once if i will do execute highlighted then it will only execute dml exception so it will open up a debug log so we will do debug only as you can see we are trying to insert a record that is an account record and in that we are missing the required field that is name so we can catch this exception and we can print the type name and the message thing of that particular exception in this manner there are uh, different uh, members of that e variable which we can access using e dot there are different variables which we can access if anything like line number or that thing is required so as you can see on line number nine we have exception name as system dot dml exception and on line number 10 we have that the following exception has occurred insert field first exception on row zero first error required field is missing so the required fielding uh, field which, which is missing is name as you can see in this particular debug okay so this is line number nine and this is line number 10 then moving ahead we have uh, this example of moving guide we have list example uh, list exception so in that we are trying uh, we are trying to get account id and name and we have set the limit to zero so no record will be returned in this because generally we do this limit one two hundred 200 anything like that but if we do limit zero so no record will be returned and if there is no record returned so it means that the list size is null and we are trying to access the index zero the zeroth name of this particular list but as this list is not there so there will be an list exception so we will try to we will execute this so highlight this and then execute highlight so we will do the debug only and as you can see it is list exception the following exception has occurred list index out of bounds so there is no index present so that's why we are getting this list is list index is out of bounds okay then moving ahead we have null pointer exception in this generally uh, the best practice or generally in uh, while writing a code it is like we are we create instance of that particular object or uh, anything like if you are creating a list a map or a set or any object uh, if you want to do an assignment thing then you will first create an instance of that particular object and do, then you will uh, do the assignments and then you will update insert or create operations you will do on that but in this case uh, we are we are not creating the instance as you can see on line number 31 which i have highlighted that is account a and directly we are assigning the account name as abc and then we are trying to insert that as there is no um, instance variable or instance of that particular account is not created that's the reason it will throw a null pointer exception so we will just go to anonymous window we will highlight the third one and we will just execute highlight 
then we will go to that debug only and we will see exception name is system dot null pointer exception the following exception has occurred attempt to different dereference a null object so as we haven't def, uh, we haven't in um, created instance of that particular object so that's why it is null and we are assigning null dot name equal to abc that's why it is saying that it is referencing to a null pointer okay so now we will close this debug now we will go ahead and we will see query exception so query exception is we are <coughs> we are getting uh, we are trying to get all the account and name and then we uh, we are trying to get all the record in a single instance but it should be a list in that we can get uh, as many records uh, as we require but on a single instance you can only get a single record or a single records data like select id name from account and then we can have like limit one or dot something the name of that particular uh, uh, field which we want which we are trying to access in that manner we can have a single record or single uh, field data in that but in this case if there are 10 records the 10 records will be retrieved from that soql and that 10 records cannot be assigned to a account a thing it can be assigned to a list of account and that list might be list of account a or something like that so in that we can get all the account record that's why this will throw query exception so we will go to execute then we will execute the highlighter and it will have debug only so as you can say uh, as you can see uh, it is a query exception the following exception has occurred list has more than one row for assignment to s object so there is single it will be treated as one but we are trying to assign it many very uh, many accounts that's the reason we are getting this exception okay now moving ahead we have math exception so math exception we have that divide by zero and it will be an infinity value so if we haven't uh, used means we can we can minimize this uh, error by using like what is the denominator value if the denominator value is less than or equal to zero then you cannot divide that particular uh, uh, you cannot uh, divide you cannot use that particular value in any divide thing or any mathematical operation while dividing anything from that but as we haven't defined anything so it will throw an exception it will be a math exception so we will just go to debug open that anonymous window highlight the code uh, highlight which method you want to execute and then execute highlight then just go to debug only and then it will be a math uh, math exception the following exception has occurred divide by zero okay uh, now we will go to the last exception we have in the list that is string exception so as you can see in this <coughs> we have an account and we have created instance of that particular account then we are trying to update the uh, sorry insert the parent id if it is not present so in the parent id it can it it is a lookup field so there can be only an id and that should be a valid salesforce record id of that particular org then only it will means like it will it will be able to insert that account or update that account as per the code which we have written so as we are trying to insert a b c d or any other string in that particular lookup field that's the reason we are getting string exception so we will again go to debug then we will try to execute that particular method and we will get that exception so it is a string exception the following exception has occurred invalid id a b c d because this a b c d is not an id of a record the record id is generally of 16 digits out of which the first three digits define which object you are using 
so for some of the object like 001 is for might be for account or in that way this is defined the first three uh, uh, first three digit define what object we are we are targeting or what object record we will be getting okay so uh, and uh, why we are every time we are doing this thing like execute highlighted because we want to execute one method but if we want to execute all the methods which are there in this particular anonymous window so just we have to do this is execute it will execute all the methods so and why we are checking this debug only because debug only will check will show us only the system dot debug lines and what is retrieved in that particular lines okay so we will just go to debug only and we can see all the lines in this particular code which has system dot debug that will be present in this particular logs okay yeah and uh, many many a times uh, in interview also they uh, this question is asked what are the different exceptions in salesforce and while writing a code or while doing any automation thing what are the different exceptions you have faced so it will be beneficial uh, for uh, interview point uh, interview view uh, point of view and it will be also helpful uh, helpful to gain knowledge about the what are the different exceptions in salesforce and uh, how we can uh, means rectify that exceptions so uh, thank you all have a nice day